Hi, class. This is uh, Professor Pollock uh, trying to uh, demonstrate for you how easy it is to use StatCrunch to calculate the um, required calculations in, in so many different examples. StatCrunch, of course, is the software package that comes with uh, the course compass. Now it's called my, uh, my lab mastering. Um, it's very similar to Excel, but it's a little more user-friendly and really integrates very well with the examples. Um, I'm going to choose an example in Chapter Six. In fact, it's six three. I'm sorry, Chapter Three, which is descriptive statistics, and a very classic example. The book gives you seven numbers and asks you to calculate the mean, the median, the mode, the standard deviation, etc. All the basic statistics. So this is example three point two point three. So, in order to use StatCrunch, you can go directly to StatCrunch and copy the numbers in by hand, I guess. But there's a little icon on the right that I'm clicking on right now. Um, allows you to copy the data. So I'm going to click on it. It says it gives you chances you can copy it and then paste it to some other program, such as Excel or an online calculator, uh, or open directly in StatCrunch. Um, so I guess we're opening up StatCrunch. <coughs> Opening in StatCrunch, as I said, and there it is. The data is transfer transferred to StatCrunch. Uh, you have to play with it to know what you're going to do with it. You're going to do statistics, so click on Stat, and we're going to be um, we're going to be using summary statistics, and we're going to summarize the column as opposed to the data might be expressed as rows. So we put the column, and the computer is going to ask you which what's the name of the variable. Well, the variable could be called let's say income or or, or weight. But we're calling it var1 to keep it abstract. Um, we would hit next on the bottom. And the computer is giving you at this point the mean, the variance, the standard deviation, the standard error, which we'll learn about in chapter 7, the median, the range, the min, the max, the quartiles, which I don't think you're responsible for. And that's about it that we need right now. So we'll hit calculate. And there it is. You have your answers for the uh, mean is 5, the variance is 36. So for example, let's go back to the homework example. Let's get um, let's minimize this. Uh, move this up here. So the issue of part of the mean is five. Check answer. Well done. We're doing fine. Um, the median. Well, according to the stat crunch, where to go? There it is. The median is three. Let's see if we're right again, because there are different versions of the formula, but we're doing great. There is no so no. Let's see. Continue. Part C that uh, part C that example. Uh, the mode is. Is there a mode formula here? Let's see. Is there a mode? Well, the mode is the most the mode is the most popular number, and when it, zero appears twice, so I get zero is the mode, which is not very useful in this case, but that I think is the answer. I hope. And I got it right. Thank God, PhD in statistics. I should get it right. The range is, and that again is available through StatCrunch. The range is 14. Of course, the highest minus the lowest, which is not rocket science, but it's nice to have the computer do it for you, especially when you get into more advanced calculations, such as chapter 7, 8, 9, 10, higher chapters. Check answer. Well done. Uh, the variance, that is a hard calculation, or a tedious calculation, but I think I recall seeing the number 36, and that's correct. And the standard deviation is the square root of the, of the variance, but I think they gave it to us, which is 6, and there it is, standard deviation is 6 over here. We'll put a 6 in. And, um, whoop, standard deviation is 6, and correct. Coefficient variation. Well, that's the standard deviation. I'm not sure if they give you that, but that you can get that from again uh, divide the standard deviation divided by the average. So six divided by what we say the average was. The average we said was was five. So six over five is one. Six over five one and one and one fifth. That's 120 percent. One point two, which is 120 percent. Let's see if I got that right. I got it right. Okay, I keep my PhD. Z scores, well, again, you take the number, subtract the average, 
and divide by the standard deviation, which I'm not going to do right now because I'm trying to demonstrate the stat crunch, but that's a simple subtraction and division, and you'll get a negative or positive number. Okay, so that's it. So let's see if we wrap up, wrap, wrap up the video and put it on YouTube. And again, if anybody would like me to create videos, let me know, and I'll be glad to comply. Good luck.